Today, we start a journey through the best video games of all time. When you think of the oldest video game ever made, you probably think of this. But actually, the first ever video game looked more like this. This is the cathode ray tube amusement device, which really rolls off the tongue, which allowed you to simulate an artillery shell arcing towards overlaid plastic targets on a cathode ray tube screen. Since its creation in 1947, there have been many more similarly developed games like Tennis for Two in 1958, which looks like it was put together with NASA's leftover computer parts. These devices were unfortunately never manufactured or marketed to the public and by today's standards are considered more electronic games than video games. So how do we determine what the first ever video game made was? When researching a definitive list, I turned to the internet and the internet does what the internet does best and argued about it. So I came up with my own definitive list of the top game of every year. For the purpose of this particular exploration, I am going to focus on publicly released and available video games. So unfortunately, the cathode ray tube amusement device and tennis for two machine are out of the running as among other technical reasons, they were never commercially available. The top game for each year must be a game released in that year. And as we get deep in this list, it becomes progressively more difficult to determine the best game of the year. So if things are tied up at the top end, I will bump a game if it has a more successful predecessor or successor. So hold those hate comments until you see if your favorite franchise appears later in the series. I'd also like to point out that in the early years of this list, Japan very much had its own ecosystem of top arcade and video games. These games were either only released in Japan or released to the rest of the world years later. Later. So this series will be based on the Western world's perception of game releases and not Japan's. Which brings us to 1971 and the first ever video game, Computer Space. The first publicly available video arcade game, Computer Space, was a coin-operated space combat game where the player controls a rocket and attempts to take down flying saucers. The ultimate goal is to hit these saucers more than they hit you in a set period of time, which would reward the player with a free round. Computer Space was created by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney in partnership as Syzygy Engineering and was actually based on the 1962 computer game, Space War. And I know what you're thinking. If this video game is based on another video game, isn't that video game the first ever video game? Space War was the original space combat game, which was actually a two-player game where players could maneuver their ship around the screen and attempt to shoot down their opponent. The reason it doesn't make this particular list as the first ever video game is because it was never available to the public. It was written for the DEC PDP-1 mini computer at MIT. Don't let the name fool you, the computer was still the size of a filing cabinet, but that was mini for the time. One of these computers cost around 120,000 US dollars in the 60s, which is equivalent to 1.2 million dollars today. So while this game did spread among engineering circles, it was only available to a very specific person at a very specific place with access to very specific equipment. Now back to computer space. The duo creators were able to find a manufacturer and ran their first location test at the Dutch Goose Bar near Stanford in August 1971. They then showcased the game to press and distributors at the annual Operators of America Expo. It was met with decent interest and 1,000 cabinets had been sold by mid-1972. Bushnell and Dabney would go on to incorporate Syzygy Engineering as Atari, but we'll get to that later in the series. This is the portion of the video where I highlight the other top contenders for Game of the Year. Later in the series, this list can get quite extensive, but in 1971, there's really only one other game to mention, Galaxy Game. Also based on the previously mentioned Space War, it maintained the two-player feature and was first installed in November 1971 in the Student Union Building at Stanford University, only a few short months after Computer Space had run its tests at the pub down the road. So whilst Galaxy Game missed out on making the history books by only a few short months, apparently if you wanted to be a gamer in 1971, Stanford was the place to be. At this point, I would also be talking about high scores and leaderboards, but these didn't exist for computer space. I can't find any formal records, but we can still find out what my high score would be. As I discover each top game of the year, if possible, I do want to try and play them. And thanks to modern emulation, we can get a close enough experience of computer space. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Oh, oh, I, I bat. I've already been hit. I keep pressing forward as like my go, but that is not my, my, ah, oh, I always get hit. 
my back button is actually the thrust, but I'm just so used to forward is for- Oh, I'm getting so close. These sources are beating me. Okay, why does my ammo go all curvy and theirs is just straight and heat seeking towards me? Oh, that was so close. And then I got taken out. Oh, I am so bad. Oh, I got another one. Here we go. Yes, I'm on a roll. No. No. <laughs> I am very bad. Oh, the time ran out and it was 3-6. So they won. They doubled my score. These two sources. I can see how people could have got obsessed with this. Okay, we're winning. Yeah, look at my look at my missile just like goes all cut. No, <laughs> how did that miss? Oh, we always crush into each other. Oh no, <laughs> they've come back with a vengeance. No, <laughs> I can't go fast enough to avoid their. Miss at all. No! What? At this point, I would just be happy if I could win a game. That would make me so happy. Okay, now you're just showing off. There's this one missile that somehow ended up at the very bottom of the screen and it's just going back and forth. Oh, oh, because then then they've killed me so many times, their number has gone back around because it only goes up to nine. I would assume on the original machine it could only count to, it's literally, I'm, I'm literally gone clocked over the clock of the amount of times that they've killed me. I can see why people were banging arcade machines back in the day, like just really hammering the, <laughs> hammering the sides in frustrations because this is maddening. I have an idea of how I could actually win. My idea is I seem to be okay at getting the first hit in and then I am winning. So my goal is to get the first hit and then just avoid missiles and stop trying to take him down just to see if I can last the time to win the game. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, we got one. Now we just live. No, this is unfair. Okay, now I need to get him again. Okay, I got two. I'm up again. Now we just avoid. Nope, you're not gonna hit me. And I've- Oh, okay, so we're- Ah! If we're far enough- I'll just shoot one. No! If we're far enough away, the missile just runs out, kind of. <gasps> Are we winning? Is this how we win? We just- We just- Oh, that! Oh, oh, where am I going? I'm just floating through space. Okay, don't stop moving. It's kind of a tack, tack. No, I'm still winning. I'm still winning. No, no, I'm now we're tied. Yes, okay, I'm winning again. We we're almost there. No, no. Oh, <laughs> this is so hard. I just need to survive a few more seconds. Oh, this is stressful. No, I came around the screen. Oh, we tied. I was so close it wrapped around the screen and got me. I would be spending so many quarters on this right now if this was actually set up somewhere. Okay, go again. I am a, I've got to win once. I have to win once. Okay, I've got one. Two. No. <laughs> Every time I get ahead, they take me out. Oh. <gasps> Think I've worked out that if you want to turn you should do like wide arcs don't do like quick turning because then you're not moving forward and then you're not getting away from their bullets see how I'm like not moving anywhere when I do it? oh well we got a point each for that one collision in space uh, at this rate anyone could beat my high score you could give this to a two-year-old and they'd beat my high score <gasps> well that's your fault Oh, come on. Did you see my bullet just curve around that saucer? 
I swear this thing's got predictive AI in it about where I'm going to... Okay, I just spawned on top of one. That was completely unfair. Five, six. I am one point off. I just need to be ahead. Oh, yes, get that ship. How did that miss? Oh my god. <laughs> Close cause. They cannot believe it. <gasps> yes, I'm up 3 1. Wait, did I win? Wait, the timer reset. Also, I got a new game. I won. Okay, this one doesn't change the screen. I actually beat it. From the research that I have done and the things that I've seen, the only real difference in this emulation is that in the original computer space game, if you won a game, you got a hyperspace animation and then the colors would flip and then you could continue playing and that was the indicator that you had won the round in this it seems to just end and you then you could just play the next round automatically but otherwise i think we're getting a pretty accurate representation of what computer space was like in the 70s i encourage you to have a go and try and beat my high score which was like one or two better than the sources in the end <laughs> see if you could do better than me because you probably can Finally, throughout this series, I also want to use a Golden Years award, where I will award a game a Golden Years ribbon for not only being the top game of the year, but for being an absolute standout. These Golden Awards will become rarer and rarer. They're for the games that sweep award seasons and just generally blow their competition out of the water. So I have to give Computer Space a Golden Year ribbon simply for the fact of being the first ever video game recognized. I hope you've learned as much as I did when researching for this video. If you would like to check out Computer Space for yourself and try to beat my record, there will be a link in the description. And if you think you can guess what the top game of 1972 will be, leave it in the comments below before the next installment of Game of the Year.